So I'm going to take you through the profiles of each of the cardinals who will be in the electoral college after this August's consistory. Uh, the electoral college who will elect the next pope consists of cardinals who have not reached the age of 80. So it'll be interesting time. Maybe one of these cardinals will be the next pope. Maybe there will be another consistory in the future. We don't know. Um, but I suppose it's very interesting now to become familiar with these men who will be the next pope. Anyway, enjoy this. God bless. Take care. Please like and share this video and let me know what you think in the comments. Take care. Bye bye. So we're going to look now at the bio of Cardinal Matteo Maria Zuppi. Cardinal Matteo Maria Zuppi, Archbishop of Bologna in Italy, was born uh, in Rome on the 11th of October 1955, the fifth of six siblings. In 1973, as a student of the, the Virgilio Liceum, he met Andrea Riccardi, founder of the Sant'Egidio community, and became a frequent, and uh, began to frequent the community and to collaborate in its activities of service to the disadvantaged, to popular schools for marginalized children from Roman slums to initiatives for elderly who are alone and not self-sufficient, for immigrants and homeless, for the terminally ill and nomads and disabled and drug addicts, prisoners and victims of conflicts, its ecumenical activities for Christian unity and its work in interfaith dialogue which took shape in the SCC meetings. At the age of 22, after obtaining a degree in letters and philosophy from the University of Rome, La Sapienza, with a thesis on the history of Christianity, he entered the seminary of the Sobidicarian Diocese of Palestrina, following a course of preparation for the priesthood at the Pontifical Lateran University, where he obtained a bachelor's degree in theology. He was ordained a priest for the clergy of Palestrina on the 9th of May 1981 in the Cathedral of Sant'Agapito Martire by Bishop Renato Spallanzani. He was immediately appointed as vicar for the par parish, uh, to the parish priest of the Roman Basilica of Santa Maria in Trastevere, Monsignor Vincenzo Paglia. In 2000, when the latter was elected as bishop, it was natural for Don Matteo, as he is still known to, to today, to assume the role, which he subsequently held for 10 years. He was incarnated into Rome on the 15th of November 1988 and was also rector of the Church of Santa Croce alla Lungara from 1983 to 2012 and member of the Diocesan Presbyteral Council from 95 to 2012. In the second five-year period as a priest in Trastevere from 2005 to 2010, he was also prefect for the third uh, prefecture of Rome and from 2000 to 2012 general ecclesiastical assistant for Sant'Egidio community after performing a mediation role in Mozambique with Riccardi in the process that led to peace after more than 15 years of bloody civil war. In the meantime, in 2010, he left the Basilica of Santa Maria in Trastevere to begin his ministry as a parish priest in the parish of Santi Simone e Guida Tadeo a Torre Angela, one of the most populous communities in the diocese, in the, out, in the eastern outskirts of the city. And in 2011, he became prefect for the 17th uh, Prefecture of Rome. Shortly afterwards, on the 31st of January 2012, he was appointed by Pope Benedict as titular bishop of Villanova and auxiliary of Rome. He received his episcopal ordination uh, on the following 14th of April from the then Vicar General Agustino uh, Vallini with the co-consecrators Archbishop Giovanni Battista Piceri and Bishop Vincenzo Paglia, now Archbishop, his predecessor as parish priest in Santa Maria in Trastevere, and as ecclesiastical assistant to the Sant'Egidio community. He selected the motto Gaudium Domini Fortitudo, Fortitude Vestra, uh, 
and assumed the pastoral care at the central sector. On 27th of October 2015, Pope Francis appointed him as metropol- to the Metropolitan See of Bologna, successor to Cardinal uh, Carlo Caffara, and he entered the cathedral in San Petronio on the 12th of December of the same year. After convening the Austin Eucharistic Congress, which opened on the 13th of November 2016, he received the Pope on a visit to the principal city in Emilia-Romagna on the 1st of October 2017. A year later, he participated in the 15th Ordinary General Assembly of Synod of Bishops dedicated to young people. On the 22nd of May 2022, the Holy Father, in accordance with Article 6, 1 on the Statute of Italian Episcopal Conference, has appointed Cardinal Zuppi, Archbishop of Bologna, as President of the same Italian Episcopal Conference. He is the author of Publications on Pastoral Nature, created and proclaimed Cardinal by Pope Francis in the consistory of the 5th of October 2019 of the title of Sant'Egidio. He is member of the Dicastery for Promoting Integral Human Development and Ministration of the Patrimony of the Holy See. So that is the profile of um, Matteo Maria Zuppi. Definitely seen in some circles as Papabile, very close to Pope Francis. Um, After uh, Pope Francis returned to, I think, if you look up the video, Pope Francis returning from Mozambique, he did a... a, uh, a trip there a few years ago he spoke specifically of Zupi's um work on getting the peace process going in Mozambique so this man is definitely wild, widely known and respected uh in his wikipedia profile pretty much the same uh, we just add here in 2018 he contributed an essay in Italian translation of James Martin's Building a Bridge Un Ponte da Costurieri he wrote that it was useful for encouraging dialogue as well as reciprocal knowledge and understanding in the view of a new pastoral attitude that we must seek together with our LGBT brothers and sisters and that it will help LGBT Catholics feel more at home in what is after all their church And this year, somewhat controversially, uh, he authorised, gave his blessing to uh, a a blessing of gay couple in uh, in his archdiocese, in which several priests were present. And uh, um, there's, that's simply what happened. And I have a video on my channel specifically on this, and I've checked with other people. Uh, it wasn't just one priest giving the blessing. There was a whole group of priests there at the church. So, I mean, is this where the church is going? I don't know, I suppose. We'll have to see how we can square all of this off. You know, it's, yeah, as, as the Germans say, it's, uh, we're, we're, we're un- better understanding the social whatever developments of this time. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. Uh, but interesting times, Matteo Zuppi, definitely seen in some circles as Papabile. Uh, and you definitely need to know who he is, follow him. He does speak English and he's quite uh, his, his talks are quite fascinating. If you listen to him on the Internet, on YouTube, his talks in Italian are quite fascinating. So it's interesting times. OK, so that's the prole of Matteo Maria Zuppi, possible Pope. Um, let's see. God bless. Take care. Bye bye.